How's it going, everyone? My name's Leopardman102. Don't ask me what that was, because I have no idea. But today, guys, we are taking a look at the top five worst racing games for PS2 that I have so far. Now, I don't have a lot, and it's not that I hate these games per se that we're going through, but they're not as good as, like, the Gran Turismo series on PS2, or even the Gran Turismos of PS1. Uh, some of them can outbeat some of the older systems, but a lot of these games are just Gran Turismo clones, they feel like, or they try to become a good racing game, but really failed over time. I even have a sheet on their ratings online. Now, it doesn't mean that that's what I would follow them. I'll give them my personal 1 out of 10 once we go through each game. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, remember guys, these are also just my opinions. I'm kinda feel like I have to say this, not because of you guys, but just because from all the- I'm getting a huge shiny reflection from my chair in the background. Look at that, that's just beautiful. No, but for real, these are just my opinions, and I'm sure a lot of you are like, we know this already. I just feel like I'm complied to say it, since it seems like that's what YouTube- um, I don't think that's what they ha say you have to do, but it seems like a lot of popular channels do that, and I just want to do that anyway, because it makes me feel more popular. So, let's get into number five. At number five goes to Super Trucks Racing. Now, before I give it my overall rating and stuff, let's take a look. So, uh, five, remember, on here is going to be this case from better to worst game possible at number one. Super Trucks Racing for the PS2 got a 66% on GameSpot and Metacritic. Now, personally, I'm just rating these games by how much amusement you can get out of them, and really, graphics, maybe a little bit, since they're on a newer platform, and graphics to these games are a little more important. They're in the newer generation, they don't always look the same. Uh, this is the PS2 generation, so I'm not going to be super harsh on them still, but I'm still going to say that. Yeah, it didn't get the best ratings. I even looked into a couple uh, comments before I... Uh, before I decided, hey, let's do this review video, thank you to uh, two people, actually. Uh, Dova Anthony, thank you so much for suggesting this stuff. Uh, he suggested that I should do this video, uh, and that would make a killer video. So, Dova Anthony, I challenge you to do a top five worst PS2 racing games video, too. And my other shout-out today was going to be my dude, Jackson Dushemin, who has his own YouTube channel, which is... Jackson Dushemin. We all know this. He's at 36. He's doing great. Remember, guys, too, we only have eight more days on this subscriber challenge. So get all your friends. We need to get to 50 urgently, people. Uh, only eight days. April 10th, and we're over, man. Uh, anyway, so Super Trucks Racing for the PS2. Eh. I mean, it's not horrible. Personally, I kind of like the racing physics and the racing techniques of the game. It feels like Gran Turismo 3. Um, I can't say much about 4, haven't divin, di divin deep enough, I haven't gone deep enough into that game. Super Trucks Racing though, it seems really nice, uh, the only real issue I have with this game is, a lot of people complain about the graphics being terrible. I don't think the graphics are that bad, actually if you look up gameplay of this game, or if you have this game, you gotta admit, on an HDTV, it looks pretty good. Um, and I'm sure it looks better on old CRTVs and stuff, but I have to say, it looks pretty good. Uh, I like how smooth everything is. I feel like texturing could have been a little better, probably, but I'm not gonna give it that much. The only real issue I have with this game that I guess can also be fun is besides the backgrounds looking a little bland and looking like they could use some more life and some more characters, um, music's not that bad. Um, I'm not that picky, though. And... The issue, which can also be kind of fun, it depends. If you're serious about this racing stuff, because this game will throw pen penalties, just like real racing, that doesn't surprise me, and that doesn't bother me hard, except for one thing. It's not very accurate. Um, when Jester and XS Games made this game, they're like, <sighs> you know what, scratch it. Scratch it completely. We're not, we're not going to make the AI friendly at all. There's like, I think they're set to one difficulty, and they are ruthless. I don't mean, you know, they're, they're, they're just hard to beat. No, they're hard to beat because they constantly are ramming into each other or ramming into you. And the penalties that you get thrown at are either you're excessively hard on them, or you cut a corner. They have cut corners pretty deep before not got, uh, not, they haven't gotten penalties. 
but sometimes they'll also ram into you and not get penalties, but on occasions they will, which is kind of funny to watch. It is a good game overall. I would still suggest it. I don't think it's completely garbage. Honestly, if I were to rate this game, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. I mean, it's passable. Um, but the, the backgrounds are a little bland. The coloring's a little bland, I have to be honest. And when you're first diving into the game, you get stuck with only three tracks. It's not like Gran Turismo 3, which I feel like is where they got a lot of inspiration from this game. Coming out in, I think, like 2000? I don't know. I thought this game came out in, like, the mid-2000s. So let's take a look in the manual since I have it. Um, see if I can find the copyright real quick. Bear with me. Um, I know this thing... <sighs> I want to say it came out after GT2. Um... Or GT3, probably. There's no copyright in here, is there? That's really depressing, people. I was looking for, for a copyright. Oh, here we go. We got warranty and stuff. Alright, 2003, which I'm pretty sure is the same era as Gran Turismo 3. Uh, bear with me here. Um, I feel like they took a lot of inspiration from the Gran Turismos. Um, and <sighs> the damage is good. Overall, it's an okay game. It's not anything wow factor, though. Uh, if you want a full review on it, let me know and I'll give you one. But yeah, good 6 out of 10. Let's move on to number 4. Okay, a lot of you think I'm super biased when it comes to Ford ra Fords, and that's true. I love Fords. But I have promised myself not to be biased on the Ford racing games. As much as I think they're passable and stuff, I'm trying not to be biased. And let's take a look at Ford Racing 2 for PS2. This is an interesting one, because if we look on the ratings, remember, we're getting slightly worse every time. It did not get a very good rating on Metacritic or GameSpot, both with a 51% barely passable for these games. I have played it, and I must say it is very challenging and very difficult, even though I must say that the backgrounds are really lively in this game, and that the controls aren't that hard to adapt in this one or Super Truck Racing. Controls are pretty easy, um, only thing is I feel like they could have done better cover art here. As cool as that might be, it's also really plasticky and shiny looking, and it's like, oh wow, look at that, they didn't even, they, you can hardly read the Ford there. And look, I'm not saying that these games are absolute trash, because they're not. Uh, my real issue with this one is you could tell that they were just going and going for the Gran Turismos. Uh, came out same year as Super Trucks and G GT3, and it's one of those racing games that it's fun to pass time with. There are a couple of things that you can tell are unique to it, like the challenge modes and stuff like that. Those are pretty unique, and the AI, they're passable, but it's not one of those games that gives you a whole wow factor. It's really just one of those games that it's like, okay, it's okay, I guess, it's passable, but it's not anything wow, and that's why it's here. Now, the one thing I have to say is really cool about it is the music. Music will get you going. I'm personally a rock guy. They have it set to different genres that you can pick during a race, which is pretty cool, and this one is not as harsh when you lose. They got those voiceovers and stuff, on the main menu and stuff, it, they're not harsh to you when you lose, like we're going to get into with this one. This one's not that bad. I can see why it didn't get a lot of love. I mean, handling's a little weird and stuff like that. It takes some getting used to. I've had this game for months and still hasn't ad adapted to it completely. So, overall, I'd probably give this one a good... <sighs> Probably a 5 out of 10. I don't hate it, and I don't love it. Um, I like the idea of it being Ford, and I mean, if I was being biased, I'd give it more of an 8 or 7, being polite. Because I do like it, it's just not anything wow factor. But I do must say, tracks are okay, and the cars that they give you are pretty cool. So let's move on to number 3. <laughs> number 3 is yet again another Ford racing game, and this one scored even worse then Ford Racing 2, the sequel to Ford Racing 2, came out one year, one, no, two years afterwards, would be our beautiful Ford Racing 3. It got a 50% on GameSpot and Metacritic, which, ooh, now you're cutting it. Um, and I have to say, it's not that I entirely hate these Ford games. I actually like the cars that they added. This one I have some issues with, though. First of all, your controls in this one are so hard to adapt to. Yeah, you can make your X's gas and your squares break. That's normal PS2 talk right there. But to change your camera to look back, instead of just being R1 or 
or, or something normal. They have your R, I think it's your R1 is your handbrake, and your L2 is to look backwards. I don't know where they were going with this. Or no, I think actually L2 was to be able to change your camera. Not triangle or anything normal, not even select. Wait, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't L2. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting my facts wrong. It was L2 to look backwards, which is kind of wacky if you think about it. And it's a little more normal now, but select to change your camera, it's still something that you got to get used to, especially if you're using third-party controllers. AI, eh, they're okay, but from what I've played on this game, the controls, it's just a hard game. If you're trying to make this game someone for everyone... Uh-uh. I mean, kids especially would have a hard time playing this one because your car just slides around half the time. I get the whole realistic thing of this, but this one really feels like it takes more away from Gran Turismo trying to rip it off than it does being its own game. Um, not saying I hate it. Um, again, these are Ford games. I don't hate them, but I guess what do you expect for a franchise game like that, you know? Okay, so I don't have honorable mentions, but let me tell you, this next one I probably paid too much for, and eh, it's not great at all. I'm surprised it even got this much of a rating. I'm talking about Crash Nitro Kart for the um, PS2. Now, let me say something real quick. I actually have to say I like the game, but is it anything wow factor? I'm trying to do this primarily for you guys. Uh, the Ford games, yeah, those are my honest opinion. They're meh, barely passable. I don't even think I rated this last one. This last one I'm going to give like a 4 out of 10 because the cameras too. Oh yeah, camera angles in this one are trash because the camera angles, if the one camera angle you get is directly aligned with your car perfectly like that, you can't even see over to see the road. It's kind of a pain. And then your other one is jacked up way up here. I don't know why. And so, yeah, that was my issue with Ford Racing 3 that I forgot to mention. But Crash Nitro Kart, for being the sequel, from what I can tell anyway, for being the sequel game that came out, like, mm, four years later for the PS2, there are some issues for sure. Like, and I'm not saying I hate this game, because it's kind of cool, but with a 69% on Metacritic, um, let's just be honest here, this game's not anything wow. Uh, it definitely had some firsts in the CTR series, which I thought was great, but my main primary issue, or whatever you want to say, my primary issue with this is even playing this with family. Um, my family's pretty good at the CTR series. Uh, my mom, she loves CTR. My dad, he likes it, and my brother likes it too. Uh, we usually play it as a family a lot on my PS1, um, or 2 now, but no, this game, it's so wacky. It, there's something that doesn't feel right when you're playing this game. Uh, when you try and get into a drift or something, it feels almost delayed or uneven. It doesn't feel like a good CTR drift boost or anything. And I know that these games are supposed to be like Mario Kart and stuff. And like the PlayStation competition of Mario Kart. But I mean, even Nitro Kart, it doesn't get a lot of love because of that. I mean, there's an issue. It's so off, and I mean, let's look at this cover art real quick, but don't tell me that this does not look nice. Or that Don't tell me that this looks nice, because I mean, to me, Crash doesn't look that bad. He doesn't look like he has as much life in, the, in him as he normally does, but, you know, Cortex behind him is just staring blankly with red eyes, and that's a little creepy. Um, there's not as much character in these ones. Um, some of the art, though, is kind of funny when you get into the game itself. This one even come with a manual? No, no it didn't. Um, but some of the art's kind of funny, the loading screens and stuff. Now, I liked how it changed up the Crash series, so now you got anti-gravity. A lot of people go, oh wow, that's so innovative and stuff. And I mean, yeah, meh, whatever. It's kind of interesting. But it's just not one of those games that I would highly suggest unless you're looking to collect it. Or maybe a fun Crash game. But if you're going for a fun Crash game... Just go for the original or go for Tag Team Racing, or even if you got a PS4, go for the Nitro, um, Nitro-fueled one. Because it's got the stuff from this. Uh, tracks are pretty good and graphics are fine, but it's those controls that brought it so high up on the list. Yeah, so, that one gets a good... I'm gonna rate it a little higher, I guess. Uh, just cause it's a good... It's an okay game for the most part, but that one thing really puts a key factor in. So, my personal opinion, it would go for like a 6 out of 10 at the most. 
Uh, and that might sound wonky because you're like, well then shoot, it should be a bit lower behind the list. But that one key thing, even though I can still like a game after that, that one key feature might make a lot of people despise it. Uh, that whole wonky drifting and jumping thing. That's why I don't like that one, is it took so much away. That's why it's higher up on the list. So, like I said, normally I'd have like an honorable mention or something. Uh, I gave two shoutouts to this video, like I promised. Um... Hey, uh, what are you guys thinking, uh, for the quick honorable mention thing? <laughs> Here's my honorable mention. What are you guys thinking for, like, a 40th subscriber special? You guys want to do a Q&A where you guys comment down below? Um, a Q&A thing? So if you do, comment down below if you want questions and answers. Um, oh, and if they're not comments right now, I'll turn them on as soon as I can. So usually, if it doesn't work the first time, it'll work the second time, and you can come back and go, Oh, hey, his comments are back on. Feel free and comment, guys. Just You might have to scroll through a couple, try, a couple times on the video. Don't forget to smash that like. I always appreciate that. But yeah, do you guys want a Q&A? Do you want a reaction? I got some USBs with some really old videos that I made when I was in elementary um, that were supposed to be for YouTube. I could do those if you really wanted to see those. Um, or, uh, you guys just comment, do you want a special game review or something for 40th, uh, subscriber special? I'm not sure, but I promise you the 50th will be the best one you've seen. Alright, so, for our number one, we have a game that really didn't get the best ratings, but not the worst. It was a 4 out of 10 on IGN.com. I couldn't find Metacritic or GameSpot. Uh, I usually just go right off of Google's interface itself just to see what it says, and I guess IGN wins. So, that game is another Gran Turismo clone, Alfa Romeo Racing Italiano. Now, let me just say real quick, again, these are all 03 to 06, I noticed. Excuse me, had a burp. Um... I don't know where to start with this game. Like, seriously. There are a couple key things with all these games, I guess, uh, that they all have one thing in common, and that's besides being an okay game, especially this one with the Ford Racing ones, they're just a franchise for a car brand, and they're just a franchise brand. So they're not going to be the best games out there. Like, even, uh, like, this was 2K games, and the other one, uh, was, um... Gotham games and Empire they were both empires so small brands for all these that I haven't heard of besides well I guess 2k I've heard of but I haven't heard of the developers um even this one Universal Interactive it seems like that these ones are more unfamiliar that I didn't know about and this goes to one of them there's one company in here I know that made this and that's renderware and boy did they depress me when they made this thing I'm surprised this thing even got a 4 out of 10 Here's why, guys. This game is one of those that's very interesting because Racing Italiano has a lot of stuff in it that feels just like Gran Turismo. First of all, I have to mention the worst thing. Get this thing, get this elephant out of my room over there, because uh, there's totally one over there. Um, the controls, again! And the camera angles. Camera angles aren't as bad as this one as they are in like Ford Racing 3 and stuff. But the game itself, okay? The game itself, look at this. I'm surprised this thing wasn't thrown in garbage. Because the issue, the main issue I have with it is it does not have like an arcade mode. Like at least uh, Ford or uh, Super Trucks and even the Ford one had more selection. Ford Racing 2. But Ford Racing 3 and Alfa Romeo Racing Italiano both have their flops when it comes to that. There's no arcade mode. Or your single race mode you get in this thing is absolute garbage because um, you get one car on one track. And I wish that they would have had an arcade mode in this one at least, or at least a challenge mode or something. That would have at least let you try a couple other cars if you're a kid or if you're just trying to spend 20 minutes trying something for fun instead of having to get into the game and start panicking. Because you think of this game and you look at the cover and you go, ooh, pretty car, you know, that 10 year old you. Ooh, pretty car, I should try this game out. You get this game and you get disappointed because you don't get the pretty car. It's okay, I guess, but I don't understand. The, the controls are so messed up too. Um, to look backwards, you would think, oh, that'll probably be, like, 
R2, L2, triangle, something. I guess R2 isn't bad, but no, no. You can look side to side on your car, R1 and L1 to look on your left and right side, but then they decided. <laughs> you think you guys think you're so cool, Gran Turismo? That's probably what they were saying. You think you're so cool because you've got better controls? Well, we're gonna make a first. You have to hit R1 and L1 at the same time to look behind you, and then when you look to the sides, your camera will just jerk over there. But instead of you know jerking back like a normal game. It, like, smooth and softly goes back into this weird motion, and it just doesn't make the game any easier. Cornering, there's not really much of an introduction on the game either, uh, on how to play. It's just, it sends you in, and you're like, oh, wow, look at me, and the tracks. I don't even have, I don't think, a map overview on the tracks. Um, this is a game that I will play it from time to time, but... It's not the best. I feel like if you're looking for a racing game, none of these would be the best. In fact, Gran Turismo would take the money. The Need for Speed series would take the money on this because it's not much of a racing game. Uh, the backgrounds, uh, they're okay, I guess. There's no music, too. All the other games have music. This one, they just throw you in and they're like... You don't get no music and there's no option either to turn on music or not. And it's just a pain. Because, like, just even setting it up is a pain. I don't understand. It's like this game's got a curse in it or something. And it's just like, oh, yeah, look at us go. So, Render Rare, the people that made us burn out and stuff, really depressed me when they made this game. And I'm just going to put it out of its misery now, guys. Um, so, that's our number one. And if I'm rating it, I'm rating it a 3 out of 10. It just, nope can't even look at it anymore it's garbage mm -mm. so anyway guys that's the video and mm, maybe some of it was over exaggerated i'll probably put a warning at the beginning uh because i don't absolutely hate the crud out of these games but i don't also love the crud out of these except for maybe ctr i kind of like this one but the wonky controls had to put it on this bad list especially for you guys if you're looking to buy uh, Ford Racing 3, I can't even call that a Ford game. Ford Racing 2, I can semi-call a Ford game. And Super Trucks Racing, uh, I actually kind of like it. Uh, I forgot to mention, though, one other issue I have with this game is the way it um, starts. I don't know if you guys have this issue, too, but if you have this game, do have it when it boots up. First of all, your PS2 makes a lot of noise fighting this game, but don't you also have it when it's just like... Oh, my PC's on battery saver where it's just a pain to boot up because it'll freeze or something. I had that, and I don't think the disc has any disc rod or anything like that. Let me hold it up against the light real quick, and if I can even get it out of there. Um, it's also got a blue back, which I thought is interesting. Okay, so it's scratched up a little. Uh-uh. There might be some disc rod in there. Mm, I'm not sure if that's disc rod, though, because that's not holes. Uh, there's a... Ooh, yeah. This disc. It might be just the disc then, guys. Yeesh. Um, it's just... Mm. But yeah, some of the opinions might be over-exaggerated. Um, so yeah, that is today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely consider hitting that like button. Or in fact, if you're feeling cocky enough, grab your Game Boy over here. Now this is my older, more scratched up Game Boy. But grab your Game Boy and smash that like button. Um, I'm also going to have a, a video on defending the Game Boy. Um, coming up because a lot of people they'll say oh yeah that's an iconic system but then they'll be like mm, I'd rather play it on a DS uh, a GBA SP which is a Game Boy Advance uh, or a Game Boy Color because of less ghosting so I'm going to defend the crud out of this guy if you're a Game Boy hater be prepared for that video and until next time guys don't forget hit that subscribe share share this Share this channel with your friends. Share this channel with your friends, guys. I could use the help. Eight days away. Almost only a week, maybe. No, a little more than a week coming up. I'm checking my calendar. In fact, right now, it is going on... Eight days. Friday the 10th is our last day for this subscriber challenge. It will be announced on Friday the 10th. Who wins? Right now, we're losing pretty hard. We're losing by eight people. So if you guys can get eight friends... Uh, even if you can get more than that, please do, guys. I could use all the help I could get to win the subscriber battle. It's not just bragging rights, but you guys are going to get a super special video.
Not a special video. Not a mm, semi-special. A super special. So, you guys better start sharing. And if you want a shout out, comment. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Hope your game hunting goes well, or your Hot Wheels collectors. If you guys are like me, I will be posting Hot Wheels videos soon, I promise. Uh, I hope your gaming goes well. Uh, let's pray this coronavirus goes uh, hopefully away. Uh, pray for health and everything, guys. That's one honest thing that I have to say real quick. And I will see you all in the next video. Alright, take care now.